Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a video that was requested by one of my viewers and that is a what's in my bag video. So I do have a new bag that I purchased about a little over two weeks ago. This Friday will be three weeks. I purchased my first Louis Vuitton Never Full and here she is. I... I am so in love with this bag, like you have no idea. And I did purchase a little lottery charm to put on her. I just love the macaroons. I think they're so pretty and they're pretty tasty as well. So anyway, so this is what the inside of my bag looks like right now. You can't really see what's inside because I do have a scarf that I keep on the top of my bag almost at all times, especially since I carry it as an open tote. And I don't typically cinch the sides in. But I purchased this scarf. It's a pashmina scarf. I got it on Amazon. If you're interested, I can link the information below. But it's very soft, and I bought it just to accompany my bag to lay on the top so if somebody's walking past my bag they can't just look in and see the contents of my purse because this is laying on top and it's covering it and on top of that if it's cold you know you can oh that was nice <laughs> it's cold you know you can put it around your you know neck or your shoulders or you know whatever so that's the first thing that's inside my bag so this is what the interior of my bag looks like. I have a ton of stuff in here right now. I don't typically carry this much stuff in my bags. Um, I do usually, okay, I messed my hair up with that scarf. Um, I do usually carry a lot of stuff, but I just don't typically carry this much stuff. Like my bag is stuffed to the hilt. Like it is so stuffed right now. I do not use a bag organizer. I don't like the way they make the Neverfulls look. I feel like they make them look very boxy and small. So I just choose to not use one. So I'm going to go ahead and just get right into it. And I'm going to go from the largest items down to the smallest. So the very first thing that's in my bag, as you probably saw, is I have this huge Lily Pulitzer bag that I keep in here. And the reason I keep this bag in here, I mean, it is huge. The reason I keep this bag in here is as a form of protection for this bag. Because I just got her. I don't want her getting messed up. Um, but at the same time, I want to be able to use it. So we've been getting a lot of rain here the last few days. And I don't want to get water spots on the Vachetta. Although I have treated my Vachetta with Apple Guard, I just don't want to take that chance. I'm still scared. So um, what I do is if it's raining, I will take this bag out and I open it up and I set my Neverfull inside this bag and then I just carry this bag on my shoulder and then I have my umbrella over my head and my bag is completely protected from the rain. Now, generally, this is not in my bag, but this is our rainy season here, so um, it's kind of a staple in my bag right now. So, that's in there. The next thing that's in my bag is the pochette that comes with the Neverfull. Um, if you have a newer version of the Neverfull, they all come with a matching pochette. This one... I love the zippers, they're so nice. So I don't usually put much in here, like it looks like I have a lot in here, but I use this pouch for receipts. So that's what I have in here right now. I have a ton of receipts. This right here gives you an idea of my shopping habit. And then I have a lighter. Um, I don't smoke, but I always carry a lighter with me for whatever reason. And this lighter was given to me at a shop that I stopped at. And I just kept it because I thought it was neat because it says Arturo Fuente. It's um, some kind of imported tobacco or something. And so I just thought it was neat looking. And then I have my Home Alone, Home Alone, <laughs> Home Alarm key fob in here as well. 
And so that's what the interior looks like. It matches the interior of my bag. And then it has this other little compartment. And in this compartment, all I have are my tea bags. This is my favorite tea. It's the Bigelow Vanilla Caramel. If you have not tried it and you're a tea lover, you need to try it because it's amazeballs. It is so good. It's so good. So let me put all this back in here before I throw this back there. So, the next thing I have in my bag is I have this lanyard that I just purchased from Lily Pulitzer. Where I work, I work at a high school, and we do have to wear um, picture IDs, and the standard issue lanyard is so ugly. It's just like this. It looks like a shoestring, and I'm just not going to wear that. So, I bought this one. I have several lanyards, and I just alternate between them, but I saw this one, and I thought it was really pretty. So I picked it up at the Lily Pulitzer store, which might I add, I did not know there was a Lily Pulitzer store. I thought Lily Pulitzer just like had her products in other stores, but I didn't know she had her own standalone store. So when I found out that there was a Lily Pulitzer store, I really felt like I died and went to heaven. It was, oh, the stores are so pretty. Like you can't be in a bad mood and be in that store. Anyway, the next thing I have in my bag is I have this little pouch. I have lots of pouches. I like to organize by using pouches because, like I said, I don't like using bag organizers. But inside this pouch, I have my... This is my charger to my... Um, Samsung Galaxy tablet. I do carry my tablet with me most days and uh, I like to watch YouTube videos while I'm working. So that tends to drain my battery pretty quick. So I have my charger with me in the event that I do need to charge my tablet. So that's that. The next thing I have in my bag is, this is my little medicine case that I carry with me. It has a little flamingo on it, and on the back it has several flamingos on it. I picked this up at Hobby Lobby, and I think I paid like $3.99 for it, but it was like the best value ever because it's the perfect little medicine case because it's plastic, and if something were to spill or leak inside here, it's not going to get anywhere else. So inside here I have a little pill case. I have another lighter. I swear I don't smoke. Another lighter. I have some little um, tummy problem pills in case you get a stomach ache. I have my allergy medicine. I have my birth control pills. I have nail glue in case one of my nails breaks. I have a couple of sticks of gum. I don't like to carry packs of gum with me because I don't like the way they make your purse smell like mint or whatever. I just don't like that. So I just take a few sticks out of the pack and put them in here. I have my monk fruit sweetener. If you are on the hunt for sweetener that does not have a disgusting aftertaste, look no further. Monk Fruit Sweetener is the way to go. The brand is Lakanto. You can purchase this on Amazon or you can usually get it at any of the natural food stores. Monk Fruit is all natural and I don't mean all natural like Stevia all natural. Stevia is disgusting. This stuff has zero aftertaste, zero undertaste. It has zero calories and it's zero on the glycemic index. This stuff is really good for you and these are the drops. You can also get it in like granulated sugar form, but look it up if you're not familiar with it. Monk fruit is very natural and um, and it's a great way to sweeten your drinks without adding calories. So and without adding all that artificial artificial garbage. I have a cough drop. I have Luden's cough drops. They're not even cough drops. They're like candy. I have a vitamin pack that I never used. I have a little hair clip. I have my fingernail clippers. These are just some little Revlon clippers. This was the Isaac Mizrahi line that they came out with. I have a safety pin and that is, oh wait, there's one more thing in here. And then I have a little lip balm thing. And that's it for the inside of my medicine bag. We'll put all this back in here quickly. So, I can move on to the next thing. Ooh. 
that holds a lot of stuff. It's a lot. Okay. The next thing in my bag is my battery charger. This is the iHome battery charger, and it holds four full charges. Um, this is just a sticker that I put on the front that I picked up from Bishop's Palace when we were on vacation in Galveston. And I have to always have this because I have an iPhone and it always dies. I have a tablet that always dies. And I have a son who is constantly bringing his electronic devices with him and they're always dying. So this is a must. My battery pack. It's really heavy. That's the only downside to it. And also it takes forever to charge. Other than that, this is a powerhouse. Highly recommend it. The next thing in my bag is my little key purse or coin purse, whatever you want to call it. It says New York all over it. And in here, I actually keep my iPhone charger. So again, really that doesn't need any explanation. Anybody who owns an iPhone knows why you have to carry your charger with you because they don't keep their charge worth a damn. I don't care what model you have. I have the 8 Plus. I just got it. And yeah, like I still have to charge it. And I don't even do anything with it all day. The next thing in my purse is my little Papaya Art coin purse. Um, if you've seen any of my other What's in My Bag videos, then you've seen this multiple times. This gets put in every single bag. No matter what bag I'm carrying, I have this with me. Papaya Art is a, a brand um, by this woman named Anna Hotna. She's the one who does all of the art on her products. I mean, she's so talented. And her stuff is so unique looking. Like, it's borderline vintage looking. But um, I love her stuff. Anyway, in here, I just keep feminine products like tampons and panty liners. And then I also have my little uh, pocket knife that my dad gave to me and he passed away about six or seven years ago so I always carry this with me everywhere. Anyone who's watched any of my videos has seen everything in here already. The next item in my bag is this little notebook. I always like to carry a notebook with me because I, you know, I like to make lists if I have things I want to stop and get after work. I write it down because if I don't write it down, then I will definitely forget that I need to get it. Um, so anything I want to do or anything I want to pick up, I always write it down. And then as I do it or pick it up, I just cross it off my list. So this is a must for me. And this little thing came from Walgreens. Walgreens has the cutest little notebooks. If you're looking for a cute notebook, go to Walgreens. They have really cute ones to choose from. The next thing in my purse is my Michael Kors credit card wallet. And I picked this up at the Outlet Center. This is 100% Saffiano leather. And it was $29. Like, you cannot beat that price. You just can't. Um, this is a great dupe for the Louis Vuitton multi-carts. Um, if you know you don't want to pay $350 for a credit card wallet, then you can go to Michael Kors and pick this one up for $29. Currently, they're having their 70% off sale, and that's why I got it for such a great price. But I love this one because this is their ultra pink color, which is the equivalent of Louis Vuitton's freesia color. So I knew I wanted to get something with the freesia color, so that's why I picked up this one. But it has a little compartment on the back where I usually just keep my gym membership card because I can never find it because it's so damn small. And then on the interior is where I just keep my loyalty cards and gift cards and things of that nature. Um, cards I don't use real often but still want to carry with me. There's a piece of fuzz flying around. But still want to carry with me. So this is my Michael Kors credit card wallet, 29 bucks right now at the Michael Kors outlet. If you're interested, they have several different colors and they even have the monogram print if you like the monogram. The next thing in my bag is my pen case. I always carry a pen case. I refuse to put pens loose in my bag. I don't care what bag I'm carrying. I could be carrying a $5 purse. I will not put a pen in there loose. So in here, I just have my favorite pens at the moment, and those are my Pilot Friction Erasable Pens. I love to use these to write in my planners and agendas and journals. Um, 
because that way if you make a mistake you can erase it clean and you don't have ugly scratch outs I don't like that so I love using these pens they are my current favorites so that's my pen case that's always in my bag the next thing I have in here are underarm deodorant wipes by Pacifica I really like using these because now that I have a high maintenance bag um, that I have to, you know, buy a scarf for and buy all kinds of other products for. I don't like using regular underarm deodorant if I'm wearing something sleeveless. Like the dress I have on today, um, you know, my underarm is exposed. So if I had deodorant on and then I'm putting my bag on, you know, my strap might hit my underarm area and get deodorant on it. And I don't want that to happen to my bag and get it ruined. So I like to use these underarm deodorant wipes. Um, they're also natural, so you know they don't have all of those harsh chemicals in them. They are not an antiperspirant, so you will still sweat if you use these, but you can wipe the stench away with this if you have them with you. So I like to carry these with me. Um, also, sometimes it feels nice to just, you know, have a little refresher because, you know, I live in a really, really hot climate, so these are great to have on hand, and they're by Pacifica, and they have all different fragrances to choose from. The next thing in my bag is my Louis Vuitton cosmetic case. This is the small size, but let me tell you, don't be fooled by the word small because this thing holds a ton of stuff. So it has the little Vachetta tabs on both sides. I have treated everything that I have that has Vachetta, my cosmetic pouch and my bag with Apple Guard spray that I ordered from Amazon. And you do not need to worry, it does not ruin your bag. It doesn't darken the leather, nothing. It darkens it for a split second and immediately you see it start to dry and the leather goes right back to its original light form. Um, the only thing that the Apple Guard does is it makes it water repellent and stain repellent and it also patinas more evenly and doesn't get like patchy dark spots on the leather. So back to what I was saying. This is the small cosmetic bag and I will go ahead and show you what I have in here. This is what the inside looks like. I have it stuffed. I have my Travelo with some Flower Bomb perfume in it. I think it's Flower Bomb. Yes, that's Flower Bomb. Oh, it's one of my favorite perfumes. I love Flower Bomb. I have my Eye Allergy Relief Drops. I have horrible, horrible allergies and they really affect my eyes. I get itchy, red, watery eyes and it's not attractive. Tweezers. These tweezers are so freaking old. Look, the sequins are gone from the case. That's how old they are. I've had them about 13 years. And believe it or not, they're still sharp. They're tweezermen, but it has the sharp pair and the angled pair. And then it has a little mirror that pulls out and you can use it to see what you're doing. I always carry tweezers with me at all times, no matter what. I have a MAC lipstick in the color Doe. I just picked this one up. I love this color. These are the colors I typically gravitate towards, these nude colors. I just love them. I think they're so pretty, and I feel like they look best on my skin tone. I have this lip gloss by Sugar Pop, I think. Oh, Pop Sugar. Be nice if I could get the name right. Beauty by Pop Sugar, and this is in the color Borderline, and I'm actually wearing it now. This is a great lip gloss. It's very hydrating, and it's long wearing as well. Um, but that's just a really sheer pink color. And then I have a little concealer by Urban Decay. This is the Naked Skin Concealer in the color Medium Light Neutral. I like to keep concealer with me just in case I start getting dark circles under my eyes or look tired or I get a breakout. I have a black eyeliner by Rimmel Scandalize. And then I have my Jo Malone Lip Balm. It has vitamin E in it. It's a lip treatment, it, lip conditioner, whatever you want to call it. It does not have SPF in it, and you would think for $30 this would have SPF in it, but it does not. However, I still love it, and I still use it religiously. This stuff is amazing. If you have dry, cracked lips, this will moisturize your lips, and it will heal them. So, I highly recommend the Jo Malone Lip Conditioner. I have a travel size poopery in here because, well, because shit happens. You know, what am I going to say? I have a Toka hand cream. This is in the fragrance Cleopatra. This is probably my favorite 
um, hand lotion. I love this stuff. It's very hydrating and um, very hydrating and works great. It absorbs into your skin really well. I have my Purell wipes. Hold on one second. Like I said, my stuff's about to die, so let me just grab this battery pack. Oh, Lord, I'm telling you. <sighs> Bad news. Well, I don't know if I have the little thing for it. I may not be charging it. Let's see here. That there, put that there. Woo! There. Wow. Having some technical difficulties here. Okay. I think we're good. Sorry about that, guys. Damn. Okay. And then next in my little, that's like almost the last thing in here, is my. Benefit What's Up Highlighter. I love this stuff. It's like the perfect on-the-go highlighter. It um, it works great, and it's so small and compact that it's easy to carry with you no matter how small your bag is. And then that's it for the main compartment. This does have a wipeable interior. It is not leather. And then over here... I have in this compartment some band-aids and some NYX oil blotting papers. I've had these for years and still have not used them all. Um, I just forget that I have them and I don't use them. I need to use them because I have super oily skin, but um, yeah, most of the time they do not get used. So let me put all this stuff back in here really quickly and move on to the next thing in my bag. I try to position everything in here so that my, um, my little cosmetic pouch doesn't have like lumps and bumps and stuff in it, but sometimes it just doesn't work in my favor. Like right now, it's not exactly working out. Oh, there we go. That's good enough. So that is the Louis Vuitton small cosmetic case. And that is in my bag. The next thing in my bag is my Clements wallet. I love this wallet so much. Um, I did a review on this just a couple of days ago. So if you're interested, I'll link that down below. Uh, but this is not the original wallet that I first purchased. I first purchased a Josephine wallet and it came defective. So I drove to the Louis Vuitton store at the Domain in Austin and I exchanged it for this one. And I'm so glad that I did because I love this wallet. And as you can see, it has the little Freesia pull tab, leather pull tab, which matches. Where did it go? Of course, it's way over here where I can't reach it, which matches the little Michael Kors credit card wallet that I was telling you about. So it's a perfect match. And so, of course, it has that wonderful Louis Vuitton zipper. And this is what the interior of the wallet looks like. It opens up really wide. So it has four credit card slots there, a compartment back here for cash. It has this large compartment. It has a large compartment here that I currently have some free appetizer coupons and my voter's registration card in. Four more credit card slots there and then another compartment for cash or receipts. And then in the center you have your compartment for change. And that is my very brief review of the Clements wallet. I like how the interior coin pocket is contrasting and has the canvas and then the rest of it has the beautiful freesia cross grain leather. Love this wallet. One thing about this wallet is um, you have to make sure that you have this little zipper pull laying down when you zip it closed because if you don't, then it can get stuck in this zipper and possibly damage it. 
So this is my Clements wallet that I just picked up. I love this wallet. I will link the video to the review I did on this down below when I'm done. And the next thing I have in my wallet is, in my wallet, in my bag is a notebook. This is a Lily Pulitzer notebook that I purchased. It is so pretty. It's um, like this gold foil all over it. It's just a beautiful, beautiful notebook. It has a, an elastic closure. And I don't have anything in it right now because I just purchased this um, on Saturday. But when you open it up, it has the beautiful gold on the inside as well. And I think I'm going to use this notebook for um, ideas for YouTube videos and, uh, you know, like maybe things I want to purchase or some goals, uh, things like that. I think I, I'm going to use this notebook for, but I really, really love it. I love all of Lily Pulitzer's stuff because her stuff is just so pretty. Like it makes you want to pick it up and write in it. So I have that in there. And then I have my brand new Lily Pulitzer agenda that I also picked up on the same day. And I still have the stickers on it. I haven't even taken the stickers off yet. But this one is so pretty. It has the pineapple on the front of it. I don't know if you can see the, the shiny gold. I don't know if this is focusing very well. But um, yeah, it's just such a pretty, pretty agenda and it has this one comes with the pen loop and when you first open it up it says if this agenda travels please return to so you put all your return information there and then it has a pocket when you first open it up there's a pocket on each side of this little divider and then it has the little story of Lily Pulitzer in the front has some stickers for you to use it has a yearly calendar for 2018, one for 2019, and one for 2020. And then it has a section for notes and things of that nature for travel plans. And then when you get into the actual months, they have little uh, like dividers that look like this before each month. And then the month view looks like this. And then the actual week looks like this. So that is what the agenda looks like. It's my new agenda that I just picked up from Lily Pulitzer. Um, I did purchase a Louis Vuitton agenda and I did a review on it and I'm glad I did a review, but I'm sad to say I think I am returning that agenda because it is a lot smaller than what I thought it was going to be when I ordered it. So when I got it, I thought, well, I can use it as a wallet and an agenda, kind of like a dual purpose, but it just did not work out as an agenda for me. And that was one of the key reasons I wanted to get it. So I've just found that I'm happier using agendas like this. And I also get very complacent with my agendas. Like I don't like to keep the same agenda year after year after year after year. So I like changing them. And with the Louis Vuitton agenda, I would have felt compelled to use that one every year because it was so expensive. So I like using these kind and I think I'm returning the Louis Vuitton agenda. Plus, I got the Damier Aben print and I really didn't want the Damier Aben print. I wanted the monogram print. So I think I might end up purchasing it in the future, but if I do, it will be in monogram and it will also be in the medium size because the small was just way too small for me. But I did do a review on it and I did give you guys some great information because I gave you information on where you can purchase inserts from on Etsy for it. So that is pretty much it for the interior of the bag. The only thing I have left in here is on my D-ring I have my clay and I will take that off and show you what I have in here. So I have my little monogram clay. I love this little SLG so much. I didn't think I would like a small leather good as much as I like this, but I have thoroughly enjoyed having this. Even though I don't really use it, like I don't pull it out and handle it every day, it really just stays hanging on my D-ring in my bag. But I like the fact that on the inside, oh, did you hear that zipper? Oh, it's 
amazing. Louis and his zippers are just something. So I keep my key fob in here for my car. I keep my house key in here. And then I also keep business cards of the essays that I like to deal with at the stores I like to shop at. So I have Gucci, MCM, Louis Vuitton. I also have a business card in here from an attorney and I'm not sure why I have it in here because I don't need an attorney for anything, but I kept the card because I liked the saying on the back. It says, aggressive fighting for the right is the greatest sport the world affords. And that's a quote by Theodore Roosevelt. So I just kept it because I thought the quote on the back was pretty neat. So that is all that I keep in my clay. And, but I love having it. And the other day uh, we went looking at campers and I just took this out of my bag and hooked it onto my pants and didn't have to worry about holding my keys or anything because oh there's a little bug flying around because I had it in here and I didn't have to hold on to it because it was looped on my belt loop so I really really love having that little SLG I might get one more because I just really like them so that is it for the large compartment in my bag it's completely empty and then the last thing is my zipper compartment and in that I have my cell phone I have the iPhone 8 plus and uh, it's in the gold color they call it gold, but it actually is a rose gold color. I don't know why they call it gold, but it's such a pretty phone, and I have a Kate Spade case on it right now. And then I have this little Louis Vuitton um, card that an essay gave me when they first launched their perfumes, and you can still smell the perfume. Uh, my favorite one is the Mieux Feu. It smells so good. You can still smell it. And I've literally had this about a year and a half. Like, it's unreal. Um, the quality of the perfume at Louis Vuitton is amazing. Like, I don't have a bottle of it, but I definitely... It's on my to-buy list. I have some Subway coupons, which I don't know why I still have them. Because I don't need the paper coupons anymore. Because I just uh, downloaded the Subway app. And they text the coupons to me. Now, I have... <laughs> excuse me I have a fingernail file this goes with the little uh, clippers that I showed you it's the same Isaac Mizrahi line uh, that Revlon I guess they collabed with him and then last but not least I have a bobby pin and some little tore up looking band-aids so, that completes what is in my bag. This is a little, I think I told you already, it's my little lottery charm that I purchased. I ordered it on Amazon, and they're kind of pricey. Um, they actually cost less if you go to the lottery website, but then when you pay for shipping and handling, it ends up being more. So, I purchased this one on Amazon, and I can link it down below if you would like. Um, the information to it. If you're interested, just comment down below and I'll give you the information for it. But all you have to do is go to Amazon and and search Lauderay and it's L-A-D-U-R-E-E -E. and uh, and a million of these will pop up in all different colors. And I just thought it was so pretty. Like I just wanted something to uh, make my bag unique and my own. And I also wanted something that would help me identify the front of my bag easily. So, um, so I just put it on there. So anyway, so this has been my review of my, well, it's not a review. It's a what's in my bag. This has been my what's in my bag video that was requested by one of my viewers. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and comment down below. And please also subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I hope you have a great evening. Bye.